Hello, it's about 1.50 a.m. and I'm really tired and I'm going to sleep with the Fitbit Charge 2 and the Mi Band 1S on my wrist to test out their sleep tracking functions. I'm going to see and compare how they track sleep. I'm off to bed now. See you in a little bit. It's about 10 a.m. and I just woke up and I slept with the Fitbit Charge 2 and with the Mi Band 1S and they both tracked my sleep. Now it's time to see what they say about how I slept. Okay, on the left you can see the screen from the Fitbit app and on the right you can see the screen from the Mi Band app. First of all, I'd like you to notice how close both the devices were in determining when I fell asleep and when I woke up. The Fitbit says I went to sleep at 2.15 a.m. and the Mi Band says I went to sleep a minute later at 2.16 a.m. And both devices agree that I woke up at 8.38 a.m. I find it pretty interesting that the $150 Fitbit and the $15 Mi Band are in agreement with when I went to sleep and when I woke up. Now, here's something I don't quite understand. Both apps say I went to bed at approximately 2.15 a.m. and they both say I woke up at 8.38 a.m. My thinking is that if I went to bed at 2.15 a.m. and I woke up at 8.38 a.m., then that would mean I slept for or I was in bed for 6 hours and 23 minutes. I calculated 6 hours and 23 minutes, but neither of these apps show 6 hours and 23 minutes anywhere. The Fitbit shows 5 hours and 35 minutes for time asleep, and the Mi Band shows 4 hours and 54 minutes for the time I was in bed. So I don't understand how those values are calculated, but I'm sure the answer's out there. Both apps show values for light sleep and deep sleep, and there's not agreement on those. The deep sleep varied by about an hour. I have no idea how this is calculated or what is meant by deep sleep. The Fitbit also reports REM sleep. I wish there is some way to confirm if it's accurate according to some kind of benchmark. I bet I could find out more about that on the forums related to these products. So that's what I learned from investigating the sleep tracking functions of these two fitness trackers they vary greatly in price I showed you the similarities and differences in what they report as far as deep sleep and light sleep I was very impressed that they gave almost identical times for the onset of sleep and the end of sleep some of the some of the numbers in the reports, I didn't really understand where they got those numbers, but I'm sure the manuals online and the forums for these products give some indication of what that's about. That's all I have for right now in reviewing the sleep functions of these fitness trackers. Bye-bye.